Hi, this is Vic, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to use parts catalogs and assign them to a bill of materials you've generated within Onshape. What I'd like to do now is before I go and generate a bill of materials and uh, work with the parts catalog, I'd like to show you something that I think is important for you to understand uh, with OpenBOM. I'm going to now move tabs and I'm going to go to the OpenBOM dashboard. And here in this section right here, parts catalog, is where we keep all the parts catalogs that you have either imported from a spreadsheet, uh, maybe you've generated them from Onshape. That'll be the topic of another video. Uh, or you've just gone ahead and created one. Now, here's the one I'm going to be working with, and I'd like to open it and show it to you. So this is a a parts catalog that contains both uh, engineering parts, standard parts, and uh, non-engineering parts. For example, grease and printer labels. And here are some of the other parts uh, that, uh, that I have, along with the quantities and other relevant uh, parts catalog information. Just for this example, I've chosen and created a few. So now that you're familiar with where the parts catalog is and contains all the relevant information that I'm going to need for my model in Onshape, let's go back to the Onshape model. And here we are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, simple parts list from this uh, particular uh, assembly. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose OpenBOM from my integrated apps. And once I get the uh, OpenBOM uh, menu, I'm going to go ahead and choose what I'd like to do. Now, it turns out that uh, it is already on parts list. You can see here I can generate a single level bomb, a multi level bomb, or a part list. I'm going to go ahead, for this example, choose a part list bomb type. Okay? And I'm also going to choose the uh, build plate and gantry uh, assembly for the printer. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is the select bomb properties. You may have seen this in previous videos, but uh, this is basically the properties that will be generated as part of the bill of materials. And OpenBOM always remembers it for every single bomb you generate thereafter. That's why we call it a template. Now, what I'm going to do is it shows here that it has the name, the thumbnail, the type, the quantity. And I go ahead and choose other uh, property types that would be generated along with Onshape. I'm going to remove here uh, the type because I'm going to bring that in from the uh, parts catalog, which I'll show you in a moment. So once I've made those changes, I go ahead and save and I click create uh, bill of materials. Uh, it's going to take just a few seconds for the bill of material to be generated. There we are. And it also takes a few seconds for the uh, thumbnail images sometimes to be generated, but uh, there they are. Okay, so this is now the uh, parts list for the build plate and gantry uh, assembly. And you can see that uh, it indeed brought in the uh, properties that I had configured uh, in the template. Okay, now we talked about parts catalog. So this is how parts catalog works uh, within uh, OpenBOM. So the first thing you want to do is you say, okay, now I've generated from my model. Uh, a bill of materials and I'd like to go ahead and use my teams or companies or organizations or projects parts catalog for this particular uh, bill of materials. So if you click here the little uh, toolbar uh, which is going to open up, let me do that again because it might be easy to miss. If I click it I'm going to now open up the toolbar that contains various tools. What's interesting for me here is the item master parts or parts catalog, so I can set a, uh, a catalog. So I'm going to click the set catalog, and you're going to see here a list of all the parts catalogs uh, that are available to me. I can assign one or more to any particular bill of materials. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign the uh, one that I showed you a little bit uh, earlier, the, uh, the print box parts catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and I'm going to uh, just hide that. Now, what I, the second thing I'm going to do is before, well, let me go ahead and do it now. I'm going to uh, bring in the properties 
that I'd like to also uh, add to my bill of materials that are part of my parts catalog. So I'm going to add these items in. I'm going to select the inventories. By default, it'll be the ones that I have assigned, in this case, just one. And then I'm going to choose the properties that I'd like to bring in. So I'm going to go bring in uh, manufacturer, on shape, uh, part number, the type. I'm also going to bring in lead time. I'm going to bring them all in and uh, in unit cost. So once I've chosen the desired properties I want to configure into this from the parts catalog, I'll click apply. And you see that automatically these were brought in. Now the beauty is that if I were to make changes within the uh, parts catalog, these would be automatically reflected in here. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'm going to uh, change uh, on the X carriage bottom in the parts catalog. Uh, I'm going to just change the lead time and the unit cost just to show you how that automatically changes and you never have to worry. So, so I'm going to find here the component that I'm referring to, the X carriage bottom. And you see here that I have the five days. And I'm also going to change the unit cost here to something uh, just uh, different. I'm going to change it to 450. Now once I do, and if I go back now to my uh, model, I'm going to do a quick refresh here. You're going to see that in fact, the, uh, the bill of materials has, uh, has changed has been updated with the necessary uh, information. You see here that it's uh, two days and the unit cost is different. So this is one way of ensuring that uh, no matter what catalog you assign to a bill of material, the information is always up to date without having to go and change each individual bill of materials. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so here we are. We've got, uh, we've just assigned this bill of material with, uh, with all the uh, properties we brought in. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a couple of non-geometric uh, parts in. The first one is I'm going to bring in grease. Okay, so there it is. And, and you'll notice that the information was automatically brought in uh, from the, uh, the parts catalog. So that's how you work with parts catalog in Onshape. Thank you.